Thank you for taking part in the Eduonix Cloud Projects course. Let's just take a minute to go through what we will learn. During the course, we will look at some important cloud engineering techniques, provisioning and orchestration. You can think of provisioning as being an automated way to spin up cloud components, whereas orchestration includes provisioning, but has this ongoing management role. We look at the cloud architectures that we can use to support our application components and the different cloud providers that give you the environment to create the components for a given architecture. When we work internal to our cloud environment, then we will use a cloud build tool. When we are external to the cloud environment, we will use an application client. To build applications, we will need to learn how to use these clients and build tools. To design cloud applications, we will need to understand cloud design patterns. To implement these patterns, we will need understanding and proficiency in cloud programming languages. In the cloud application space, nothing stands still. Change is ongoing and continuous. So we need to be up to speed with what is emerging, because what is emerging now will be what you use tomorrow. We will look at two core provisioning tools, Ansible and Vagrant. The orchestration tool we will look at is Google's Kubernetes. The cloud providers we will work with are Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft's Azure, Heroku, and Red Hat's OpenShift. Each of these providers supports a specific architectural model. For example, Amazon Web Services supports infrastructure as a service, whereas Heroku supports software as a service. Google Cloud supports platform as a service, and Microsoft Azure supports all the architectures. OpenShift is selected because it supports emerging patterns in cloud application design. And this emerging pattern is Docker clusters. You have a traditional cluster where you have many machines or virtual machines. With Docker, you have a different design. You have a Linux container. So using Kubernetes as an orchestration tool, we can configure clusters of Docker containers. We will also look at cloud design patterns for cloud applications. We will look at the circuit breaker pattern, service registration and discovery, load balancing, and universal or server-side JavaScript. To implement applications with these design patterns, we will need to use build tools. For a Java application, we will use Gradle. For a JavaScript application, we will use Webpack. And for a Python application, we would use PIP. We will create code in these programming languages, Python, Java, Go, and JavaScript. We will create microservices in Java. We will create deployment tools in Go and Python. We will create React.js zero configuration applications in JavaScript and React.js server-side rendering applications. During the course, as we develop applications, you will be able to find the source code in the documentation folder for the section. Also in the documentation, there will be a link to an online GitHub repository for the source code.